Hi everyone and welcome to another Langmuir Systems Fusion 360 tutorial video. In this video we'll cover sketch mirroring as well as circular and rectangular patterning. In this example I'm going to be using the guitar wall mount that is available to download from Fireshare. For more information about Fireshare and importing files, refer to our earlier video, Fusion 360 CAD Part 5, Importing Files. This particular CAD has a constrained locked point at its origin. I'll go ahead and delete that constraint so we can move the part around freely. From the Create drop-down menu, select the Mirror option. Now, click and drag a box around the part to highlight and select it. Unselect the line that you want to use as a mirror line, but leave the rest selected. Finally, select the Mirror Line option, and then reselect the line that you want to use as the mirror line. Notice how the part duplicates itself over the mirror line, creating a symmetrical image. Because of the mirror line, this is seen as two separate faces. However, if we trim the mirror line at the center, we'll have a double neck guitar mount ready to cut. To finish up, we'll extend these portions that would have otherwise been corners, and delete the fillets. In this next example, we use the same guitar mount, but this time in a circular pattern which duplicates selected sketch curves in an arc or circular pattern. Before we get started, we need a circle. I'll select a center diameter circle and to make it easier to line up. Notice the blue dotted line that appears. This indicates the center point of my circle is lined up with the center line of my guitar mount. That looks pretty good. Now we intersect the circle with our guitar mount and use the trim tool to remove the extra interior lines. Next, select Circular Pattern from the Create drop-down menu. Click and drag a box around the part that we want to duplicate, and make sure to deselect the circle along with any other geometry that we don't want to duplicate. Once you've done that, select the center point of the circle, and notice how the geometry that we selected a few moments ago is duplicated around the circle. From the Circular Pattern menu, we can change the number of duplications by changing this quantity value. We can also choose to either use the whole circle or only a portion of the circle. We can define that portion by a specified number of degrees out of 360. When you're done, click OK and trim the excess interior lines to connect the newly duplicated geometry to the circle. We'll use the same guitar mount in this next example, Rectangular Patterning, which is a great tool for nesting a duplicated part for a light production run. Before we get started, we need to create a rectangle around our guitar mount that roughly resembles the total cutting area of the Crossfire. That looks close enough. Note that if you're using a Crossfire XL or a Crossfire Pro, you'll want to make your rectangle a different size. Next, select the Rectangular Pattern option from the Create drop-down menu, then highlight the guitar mount. Once the guitar mount is selected, you'll notice arrows that appear to be similar to the Move tool. But as you drag the arrow, you'll duplicate the part instead of move it. Let's drag the arrow all the way to the other side of the rectangle. Changing the quantity changes the number of times the part is duplicated between the original and will replace the arrow. Moving the other arrow will now duplicate all of those copies into a new column. Be sure to modify your quantity so that nothing overlaps. As you can see, we are now ready to cut 10 guitar mounts on the crossfire. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Join us next time where we cover trimming, extending, and offsetting. 